Do you remember that when Naomi and her husband left Bethlehem, that they left everything behind? Now, Naomi doesn't have her own field to harvest. So how can Ruth and Naomi get food? The Lord has said in the Bible that poor people can go to the fields from other people to find the leftovers. Now Ruth says to Naomi, Let me go to the fields and pick up the leftover grain behind anyone in whose eyes I find favor. Naomi says to her, Go ahead, my daughter. So Ruth goes out, enters a field and begins to clean behind the harvesters. As it turns out, she is working in a field belonging to Boaz, and he is a family member of her late husband. Just then Boaz arrives in his field and greets the harvesters. The Lord be with you. The Lord bless you, they answer. What a nice greeting. Boaz asks the overseer of his harvesters, who is that young lady? The overseer replies, she is Ruth who came back from Moab with Naomi. She has been very hard working up till this moment. She only rested for a short while. Boaz goes to Ruth and says, My daughter, listen to me. Don't go and clean in another field. You can just stay here. I've told the men to take care of you. And whenever you are thirsty, go and get a drink from the water jars the men have filled. Ruth bows down with her face to the ground. She asks, Why have I found such favor in your eyes that you notice me, a foreigner? Boaz replies, I've been told all about what you have done for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband, how you left your parents and your homeland and came to live with a people you didn't know before. May the Lord repay you for what you have done. These words make Ruth very happy. At mealtime, Boaz says to Ruth, Come over here, have some bread, and dip it in the wine vinegar. When she sits down with the harvesters, he offers her some roasted grain. She gets more than enough, and has even some leftovers that she can take home. As soon as Ruth is working again, Boaz gives orders to his men. To gather among the sheaves, even pull out some stalks for her from the bundles and leave them for her to pick up. How nice from Boaz to be so friendly. He obeys the Lord. He knows that the Lord wants us to care for the poor people as well. Ruth works in the field until evening. Then she treasures the barley she has gathered. And she has so much. When she comes home with it, Naomi asks her, Where did you glean today? Where did you work? Blessed be the man who took notice of you. Then Ruth tells her mother-in-law everything about the whole day. And she also tells her the name of the man is Boaz. Oh, says Naomi, the Lord bless him. That man is our close relative. He is one of our guardian redeemers. That is a difficult word, but what it means you will know when you listen to the coming stories about Ruth. Do you know already who wants to be your Redeemer? That's Jesus Christ. He wants to redeem you from your sins. Then Ruth says, He even told me to stay with his workers until they finished harvesting all their grain. Naomi says, That's a very good plan. Every day Ruth goes back to the fields of Boaz until the barley and wheat harvests are finished.